Some important new research has been released on the operations of our patent system, the legal engine that drives our innovation economy in the United States, securing property rights and new technologies and new inventions. Very importantly, when someone takes a property right, like your bicycle or trespasses in your home or squats in your home, invades your home and is now living in your bedroom, you can obtain an injunction against them. It's an order to kick them out or to return the property or even at least to stop trying to use it without your permission. It's very important. This is a backstop, as we say, to the ability of people to negotiate in the marketplace. Your ability to say no to someone is your ability to then require them to pay you what you wish to receive for the use of your property, whether it's the sale of your home, the sale of your bicycle, or the sale of your technology or invention in a patent, your property right in that invention. Well, the Supreme Court changed the rules on in injunctions um, in 2006, although there's been a very big debate today about whether it in fact did change the rules because the Supreme Court justified its decision in this case by saying that it was applying a long-standing historical test for how patent owners have received injunctions. Well, I took a look at all of the patent cases in the 19th century, approximately 899 of them, and I found that the number of times that the courts applied this test that the Supreme Court said in 2006 is a longstanding historical test is zero. Yes, you heard that right. Zero out of 899 cases. Why is this important? Well, it proves and confirms the fact that the Supreme Court did change the law. And then this ties into and confirms why then it's become more difficult for patent owners since this decision to obtain injunctions for people who are stealing their inventions and their technologies. Hopefully, my research will serve as a basis for evidence-based policymaking by Congress as it considers reform, or perhaps even by the Supreme Court if it chooses to reconsider its fatal error in that 2006 decision.